So we're live here. It's just past 6 p.m. in the evening in the UK. Um, you're just starting your day, Amala. And um, I thought the first thing we should just check in on is um, just going in a little bit about you because you're very well known in the in NBA circles, in basketball circles in the US, and you're a, a well known private strength coach. But why don't you just introduce yourself a little bit better for people in the UK who just don't understand basketball? All righty. Well, I, 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 I've started my day five hours ago. <laughs> I'm usually up at 5 a.m. So I uh, just wanted to correct you on that. Um, but uh, if you guys don't know a little bit about me, I am from West Palm Beach, Florida. I was born and raised in Florida. Um, I have a bachelor in exercise science. So uh, throughout college, I've always played sports. Throughout high school, I always played sports. Uh, I'm <laughs> reading some of the messages, some of you guys have already did the workout. Um, so just reading, um, just my background was always into sports, conditioning, and not only just sports, I, tr I, I tried all different styles of training, to functional training, to uh, hypertrophy, to all different backgrounds as well. So I don't have this one base of style. Um, so when I graduated from college, I moved to Los Angeles, uh, hit the ground running, just started really training as many people as I could. I started off training um, models and bodybuilder competitors. And from there, I kind of wanted to transition more into the background of what I like to do, which is sports, uh, sports training, conditioning, and really just working on the agile of the body and the biomechanics of the body, of which I really loved a lot. So I ended up switching my style of training. I got really into sports conditioning. And uh, I believe this was maybe three years ago. One day, I, I've just transformed so many clients. Like, I have been known as a transformation specialist before I was known before uh, even getting into sports. So my goal was, if I had any client, I can transform you in six to eight weeks. Whatever your goal was, I was there to help you. If you wanted to lose a few pounds, I would have that. If you wanted to shred up, I would get you there. As long as you were in that range, that healthy range to get you there, I could transform anyone. So uh, my name really started buzzing a lot in Los Angeles. So many people would reach out to me because they saw my transformations all over Instagram and social media. And one day, Julius Randle for the Los Angeles Lakers, at the time he played for the Lakers, he reached out to me. He said, hey, um, man, I, I love your workouts. I love what you're doing. Um, I need a transformation, like, as soon as possible. So if you guys don't know how sports work, um, most NBA guys, they have two months to train during the offseason, and then they go right back into training, uh, right back into basketball. So I only had less than two months with Julius, and I started working with him the next day after he reached out to me. Three weeks later, he had a complete transformation. Um, went from a fat pack to a six pack. Uh, I woke up the next day, this, the photo was everywhere, all over Sports Center, all over every magazine, all, every online outlet you can think of, all over TV. And from there, so many athletes just started coming in because they heard of the work, heard, heard of the work. Um, from there, I just kept working with as many athletes as I could. Um, right now, I say 20, uh, 20, I have 20 NBA players. I have entertainers all across the world from 2 chains to every uh, every big artist I've worked with them um, and I just really get kept doing a great job and from there Beachbody reached out to me so when Beachbody reached out to me um, at the time um, I wasn't I wasn't aware that Beachbody was the umbrella for P90X and Insanity so to tie it all back in um, to tie it all back in years ago over 10 years ago I was doing P90X with my brother and I had no clue, like, that was part of Beachbody. And P90X was, like, changed my life because at the time, I switched my major from sports management to exercise science because I, I just fell in love with the anatomy of the body. So um, from there, I started really becoming a nerd and really wanted to get better at my job. And then Beachbody reached out, and this came around in full circle, full circle. They said, hey, we want to bring back the intensity that we we were known for. We wanted to bring back the, the insanity days, the P90X days. And we've seen your transformations. And the only way you get transformations like that is you have to be an intense trainer. 
knowledgeable trainer, and we want to bring that to Beachbody. And Carl reached out, and we had a conversation, and we came out with six weeks of the work. So that's basically a little bit of how we decided of this. Um, the name, in case you guys care about the name, it was basically um, based off of my sayings. You know, Carl watched me, and I've always said, you know, we got to get to the work. Let's get this work done. And so that's kind of how we created the name of Six Weeks of the Work. And now we're just trying to transform as many people as we can. So Amazing. I love that. Love that story. Um, so we've, we're, we're currently looking at the work. Mm. From, so it's, a, it's still fairly new. And we, we, saw the, we saw the sizzle at Summit and it's kind of brought that. We've done the we've done the um the first workouts and we kind of we, we also did the uh, the trial workout as well i guess so there's a few people who know a little bit about it but for those of the, us that are uninitiated or, or want to try and explain it better to our teams or our prospects tell us a little bit more about how how does the uh, work, work to give you a little more understanding of six weeks of work this is a functional training program so this is uh probably 80 percent functional training with um, and in case you guys don't know what functional training is, is this is more about training with a purpose, um, understanding that our body moves in so many different mul uh, multiple planes, the sagittal, the transverse, it also moves in a frontal plane. When you're doing most programs or you're doing most training programs, half the time, most trainers focus on two planes, the sagittal, which is where your deadlifts, your pushups are gonna be, and your, uh, your bench press, and the frontal plane where you're doing side lunges, side shuffles. But a lot of times we neglect the rotation power. We, re we neglect just working from joint to joint instead of focusing on muscle to muscle. So I, the functional training is really just taking our primitive, our primitive nature of how we move. So like when we go down to tie our shoes, we bend down into a lunge. Okay. Or when we go to use the bathroom, we drop down into a squat. So we're just taking compound lifts and I created intensity to it. Um, so bringing in my sports training background behind it, I wanted to create the intensity also being able to work on your performance and getting the most out of it. So it's six days a week. Five days out of the week is a 45 minute ass kicking program, excuse my language. Uh, and on the sixth day, it's just mainly we're working on your mobility and your flexibility. Um, we're focusing on different body parts every single week. So this week, if you've done range, uh, if you've done one weekend, you've already done range and repair once. So we're focusing on your hips. Then once you get to range and repair two, we're gonna be focusing on your thoracic spine. So we focus on different modalities. I focus on different modalities to help you prep for your week every time that you're gonna do uh, any workout. And so the workout is an unapologetic, guys. You know that it's intense. I'm seeing the messages. I see people who can't walk. People are sending me wheelchair emojis. It's, it's insane. Uh, the feedback from this program has been amazing. This is probably the most exciting program that has been launched in a very, very long time. And it feels awesome to see so many people take this challenge. So if you guys haven't known or to talk a little bit more about the program, the program launched on September 30th. Before you even begin the program, you have to take a fit test. And the fit test is just to measure who you are, to measure if you're able to even to tackle such a task so daunting like this 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 program is so intense so i wanted to make sure i had like-minded individuals who know what it takes to push and have a good baseline already to start into this program now if you can't if you didn't pass the fit test which i'm going to be honest i don't want to just talk about the fit test but so many people are not taking the fit test i <laughs> I have pregnant women doing this program, which I have said over and over, please do not do this program if you're pregnant. Um, it's that intense. So, so many people are not doing the fit test and still trying out the workout and they love it. Um, but this workout is so, so damn intense that um, I'm just excited to, to see so many people take this challenge. So to, um, to give you a little more, I'll let you go ahead and keep explaining or talking or you want me to just leave it. No. I could talk all day. Yeah, it's interesting. You were saying, like, obviously, we there's a few uh, contradictions around, um, you know, people who are um, pregnant should not, maybe not be doing this workout. But is this workout really, is it something that anyone can do? Is it, do you, do you have a sort of people in mind who definitely so, do this workout? Not anyone can do this program. 
Um, anyone could do this program because of the way the style of that is uh, that it function fo focuses on. It focuses on on functional. It's, it's just your primitive movement. So it's really anyone can challenge this if you if you pass the fit test. Now, when I was creating this program, I'll be honest, I was thinking of the guys. I was thinking of the dudes who are tired of watching their wives sit in the living room doing a workout program and they're not joining in because they think that, oh no, this body is too soft or <laughs> this is not for me or yeah, I can't get a good, good training program at my home. So when I was creating this, um, after I went to Summit, I saw so many men I mean, so many women, excuse me, 85% of these body is composed of women. Where are the fellas at? So when I was creating it, I had them in my mind the entire time. And not only just guys, but your kids who are trying to play varsity or trying to improve on, trying to improve on their athleticism, trying to get into a sport, soccer, basketball, football. Uh, you can even do... Uh, track and field with this. Some people are combining it to do a half marathon. The intensity is going to get you there no matter what. So when you're going through this, so many people have already gone through the first week and they're like, holy shit, yo, I wasn't ready for this. And I'm going to recommend for people who are just beginning into this program, do not combine this program with any other training because this program is so intense that you don't want to do anything else um, on top of this, because it's a lot of work that you're going to be doing as well. So I created the program for everyone, but also if you don't pass the fit test, it's not for you, but you could do other programs that Beachbody has, like Morning Meltdown, Joel's Lip 4. You can do uh, Sean T's. You could do so many different programs to get you ready for this program. Great, perfect. And, and actually, so I don't know how much, if you spend much time over here, but you probably, if you, you may have seen, uh, we don't have, really big houses we don't have really big garages or like so, so but this really doesn't take a lot of room to to do this no. in your front room without um having to take over like move all the furniture out of the way it's, this is a, a very accessible right yes this is this is something that you can do at a park you just bring your dumbbells you can do this in your if you in a small little box if you can find the room you can do this program anywhere i think the only time where you're going to have difficulty, I'll give you a little insight on it, is when you get to the cardio and core section, which is this week. The cardio and core on week two. The cardio and core section is going to move you around a little bit. So um, you're going to do a lot of agility work, a lot of lateral bounds, a lot of explosive movements. So you want to kind of have a little space, about maybe about six by six um, feet. Um, just to give you a little room to move around a little bit. So I don't know how you guys, do you guys convert that to oh, yeah, different other measurements? <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. So, and, and I think you just mentioned the, um, the equipment there with, with some dumbbells and things, but tell us about the equipment side of, of this workout. It really is yep. fairly equipment light in the overall scheme of things. So the equipment, um, guys, you're going to need a pull-up bar. You're going to need a chin-up max. Um, that's Beachbody's assistance uh, pull-up bar for you. You're, you will need a, a dumbbells and loops and slides. Mm -hmm. So those are the main uh, equipment that you're going to need. Now, a lot of people keep asking me about the pull-up bar. It is optional. It really is. But for this program, if you want to get the most out of this program, you're not going on your pull days. If you don't have a chin-up bar, your pull exercises might be easy for you if you're an advanced lifter. Now, if you have that chin-up bar and you have that pull-up bar, I guarantee you, your pull exercises are going to be death. So really get that chin-up bar to really get the most out of it. If you can't do a pull-up, then make sure you get the chin-up max. That'll really help you. Or get creative. Grab a band, loop a band in, and, and step one foot in and use that as an assistance on a pull-up bar to help you guys out. Um, so, yep. And that, and that, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, as you say, with those, some of those, the, nearly all of those pieces of equipment, they're well known to us as, as um, fans of Beachbody. They're all for things that we've had in other, other workouts most fairly recently as well. So um, the overall scheme of things, we're not, it's not like brand new stuff here that we're, we're um, needing to bring out. Um, let's talk a little bit about the nutrition because I'm conscious of time here. Um, so the nutrition plan is kind of is, is it sort of integrated, but tell us a little bit more about your thoughts on, on how this works from a nutrition perspective. So when you, when you buy 
beach uh when you buy six weeks to your work it already comes with the nutritional guideline so it comes with the beach body nutritional guideline and it also comes with the two beautiful ladies their program guidelines so you have to be mindset by alana and you have ultimate portion fix by autumn so what we wanted to do was since we were creating this program so we wanted to make sure that we had something that you guys can be able to sustain and be able to go through this workout. So nutrition is a is important. You can't start this program if you're not on your nutrition. Just like you know what you have every single week with the workouts, you have to be on top of that as well. So we found a way to integrate the nutrition in here so you guys can get the best out of this program. So when you look at the program, it breaks it down for you exactly how you should eat. So if you're looking to maintain and just gain lean muscle, follow bracket one or bracket two. If you're looking to lose weight, you just change, go down one bracket and you adjust your macros through there. So now when we were creating the program, guys, I wish I had more time for me to be able to sit down and really write down all the, the nutritional aspects and the gems and all the things that I love. But when we created this uh, right after Summit, they really wanted me to push. I'll be honest, right when we finished Summit, and if you guys were at Summit, if you heard anything about it, the program was not even shot. So when we got back, I was really, really working really hard every single day on creating the program, and we didn't have enough time to, to create my own aspect of nutrition, which I'm praying that we'll be able to have that as well. But the cool, the cool thing about it was when I looked over Beachbody's nutrition guideline, I looked at Autumn's. Uh, uh, ultimate portion fix and to be mindset it's similar to how I recommend my clients to eat natural whole food organic um, really stay away from processed foods really just um, eat foods that are going to benefit your GI tract that's going to help you with your inflammation um, and just keeping you at a clean uh, holistic approach so when I was looking over it. I wasn't mad about it. I, the program, the nutrition program is awesome. This is basically 80% of how I eat right now. And it is awesome. So make sure that if you're doing six weeks of the work, do not start this damn program without being on top of your nutrition because you're not going to get the results that you want. Nutrition is 80% and fitness is 20%. You're only working out with me for 45 minutes tops or 50 minutes tops. You have 23 other hours on your own guys or we want me to or girls you want me to break it down 23 hours and 15 other minutes on your own so you have a responsibility that you owe to yourself and you have to be on top of that nutrition so uh the cool thing is is the super trainer launch group is launched yesterday yeah so right after this that. call because I, I was just about to say like what's going on in that group right now because there's a lot of people who just so, haven't got in that yet um and they still need to get themselves in there so tell us what is going on so what happens in that is you guys get to talk with me for two weeks straight where I talk about nutrition, where I get to tell you my insights on nutrition as well, where you guys get to ask me questions about the program. You guys get to ask me like, why did I create this? Why was this? Why am I still sore? Uh, it's seven days later and I still can't feel my legs. I'm, I'm reading crazy messages. So this is the time for you to ask me as many questions as you can about the program. Every day I'm there live. It's not pre-recorded. I'm there talking to you, ask, um, answering your questions. So it's important for you to get into that because when it comes down to the nutrition part, I'm really talking about what I do and how things benefit me. And, and I really talk about what you guys should do to really get the most out of this program. So there's conversations about intermittent fasting, there's conversations about keto, about being vegan. So we just, this is your time to ask me as many questions as you can about the program and I'll be able to answer as, as best as I can for you. Great, and you're in that group every day? Every day for 14 days. That's amazing. That's value, right? Right there. So yeah. Um, th this has been incredible. We've got, there's lots of questions coming in as well. I'm very conscious we've got to, we want to take a look at those questions. If there was right now, is anyone who's sort of wavering, who hasn't figured this out yet, that really they need to be in on this and they're, or they're just finishing up with uh, the MM100, what's your message to people right now on, uh, on what they're going to get out of this? So guys, um, 
number one, I, I want to talk about two things before, but if you are doing morning meltdown, please commit to it. Please commit to it because the whole thing is 100 workouts you must commit to. So I really want you guys to commit to that before you even get to this program. The reason why is because what I want from you to get out of this program is going to take a lot of discipline. It's, there's going to be days where you're not motivated, but you're going to have to be disciplined to get your ass in here to get the most out of this program. But not only that, what you're going to get out of this program is the, the, the psyche of what it takes, how hard I have to work, and this is what it takes to be the best, to see the best version of myself. And this will transcend not only into your life, but into the, your family, into your kids, into the people who are watching you. Um, I've saw so many people who wrote me how it inspired their husband, how it inspired um, their, their friends and family because they just seeing how hard and dedicated I am to being the best version of myself. And this program is going to create that for you. This program is not just about kicking your ass. It's just you coming back for more. This program is about that, that zero doubt. Right now, a lot of times we get in our head and that's the worst place to be. So get out of your head. Push yourself. Tell yourself that you are amazing. Tell yourself that you can do this and believe in yourself. And this is what that program is. And this program is it's not P90X. It's not insanity. My opinion, I think I put my heart, blood, sweat, tears into this. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this product. And I think this is going to be one of the, the top programs that Beachbody has ever, ever developed or even been a part of. So... Uh, so what I want you guys to get out of this is be a killer. And when I say a killer, be a killer mentality. Uh, come in with, the, with working effort. And I guarantee you by the end of the six weeks, the transformations are going to be crazy. I've already seen one week, trans, uh, one week progress reports. And I'm seeing people just transform right in front of me. Someone's already lost seven pounds. People are losing eight. And with this type of intensity, if you're following the nutrition, you're going to see those results. I mean, again, I pride myself on being that transformation specialist. I've worked with every, every single one of my clients. I've never failed. Them. If you ask any one of my clients, I've never failed them. I won't fail you guys. And I want you guys to be proud of this program. So, Amazing. Love that. Thank you. So we've got a, a few questions. A few more minutes to just like to wrap up. So let, what, are, you, are you okay to answer a few questions that are coming? Of course. Yo, okay. Guys, I'm on your time. We'll dash through these and see if we can get a few in. So uh, we'll try and keep the, the little bit brief. Um, so I have one from Penny, which is um, who's asking. She's actually d finishing up MM100, but she's um, she says, "Is this a fasted workout or a feed first workout?" In your opinion? Well, now you know, Penny. I'm not supposed to talk about intermittent fasting, but I will tell you that I have done every single one of these workouts fasted. I do intermittent fasting and I have been able to crush this program. Some of my clients that I've coached have been beta testing on this program and they don't even know that I made them do this um, six weeks of the work. So you can do this fasted, but you also need to pay attention to your body and, and really be aware of just where you are in your energy level and track it. So you can for sure do it. Um, but some people can't eat before, you know, you, hopefully you're eating over an hour before you do this program, because if not, it might come out, might come out of you. So make sure you eat. <laughs> yeah, that, that could happen. <laughs> so Megan, all the way up in the Highlands is asking if, um, you have, if there are pull up, are the pull up bar alternatives as effective? Uh, they are effective, but not as effective. Um, when it comes to alternative moves, most of the time you're going to, when it comes to a chin up, we're going to do a bicep exercise to really engage that bicep that you're going to get as well when you're doing a chin up. Or if you're doing a pull up, we, then we do a dumbbell pullover. Now, if you are doing the, the, the modification, so when you do the pullovers, if you have a heavy dumbbell, that might be your best bet to get the same effect as well as you're doing a pull up. But there's nothing that's going to teach you how to do a pull-up or how to do a chin-up without actually getting that ass on top of a bar and being able to do it. So please get yourself a chin-up max or get yourself a bar or go to the gym and do this program and use an assisted machine because I really want you to get the most out of the program. And, and again, I guarantee you that you're going to use it in the future again. So you might as well just get one. 
Uh, you don't have a door for one. Okay, so take it to the park. Yes, I know you can find some monkey bars somewhere. So you got to be creative. I have to be creative a lot of times, and, and this is just really how we're going to figure it out. So, um, That's awesome. No and, um, there's, okay, tips for the guys on that, that have hairy legs doing, doing using the workout bands. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my guys with hairy legs, there's two things that you can do. You can wear high socks or you can wear compressions under. Um, if you use the compressions under, then you'll be able to, uh, to be able to do it. Or you just shave your damn legs, you know? What's wrong with that? I, I guarantee you ladies love shaved legs. There you are. You. <laughs> For our next, uh, our next product is an is a exfoliation product. Yeah, right. <laughs> you heard it, first. Yeah. That's, not, that's not true. Don't, don't quote me on that, guys. So, any more questions before we let uh, Amara go? When are you coming to the UK? That's a big question. Uh, might, I'm be in the UK maybe whenever someone tells me to go. <laughs> you guys reach out to Beastbody and beg them for me to go to the UK. There you are. You've got to basically pester Carl until he submits. Have you been here before? Yes. I, been, I was there last year on tour uh, with, with my client, and I love the UK. It's one of my favorite places to be. Um, so I would love to come back. Excellent, excellent. Look, so we're going to wrap because we know time is precious um, yes. for as well. One last thing I'm going to ask you to do is a, a message to the UK coaches and the UK people out there who are going to look at your program and think, uh, where are we going with this? Like, tell us what they need to do right now. Right now, guys, give up. Just take charge, take ownership. If you want to look, and, if you're looking for a challenge, if you're looking for something that's going to take you to the next level, I guarantee you, if you look me in my eyes right now, I guarantee you I'm going to get you there. But you got to believe that this is, this is it for you. And so if you guys take charge right now and do this program, I guarantee you I'm going to have your back the entire time. If you haven't started or pressed play, then you're missing out. Every single person that has pressed play, they feel like I am right next to them. And I guarantee you, I am that type of trainer. I'm not the super trainer that just pretends like you're not there. I read every one of you messages. I reply back. I repost. I want you guys to know that I'm your trainer. I'm not a super trainer. I'm your trainer. So that's to thousands of people. That's who I am. And that's who I'm always going to be. So hopefully you guys do the program.